It has been nearly a year and a half since Orange County Deputy Norm Lewis was killed in a motorcycle crash. He died while helping search for the gunman who had just killed Orlando Police Lieutenant Deborah Clayton. Today, the motorist who caused the fatal motorcycle collision entered a plea of no contest. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is live at the Orange County Courthouse. And Mike, I understand the driver who caused Deputy Lewis's death was planning to fight the traffic citation? That's right, 80 year old Billy Gerard uh, could have paid off these traffic citations more than a year ago, but he wanted his day in court. However, at the very last minute, his attorney entered a plea. State troopers and other law enforcement officers packed the courtroom today in part to honor fallen Orange County Deputy Norm Lewis and in part to make sure the man down by Mark Heath Lloyd, Deputy Lewis was taking part in the manhunt. As Lewis drove his motorcycle down Pine Hills Road, investigators say Billy Gerard abruptly turned his van into the path of the oncoming deputy. I will uh, accept the agreed upon disposition. Today, Gerard's attorney entered a plea of no contest to failing to yield while making a left hand turn. As punishment, he'll lose his driver's license for six months and must pay a $1,000 fine. Norm's life is gone. Billy Jean Gerard is still here. Although Deputy Lewis's mother was satisfied the motorist received the maximum punishment possible, she wants state lawmakers to increase the penalties for causing a traffic death. And she wants an apology from the driver who killed her son. The fact that he didn't have the audacity to show up and face Norm's mom, that's coward. And I'm letting you know, Billy, Jean Gerard, what you did, only God can help you. Now, by entering a plea, Gerard's attorney points out that the 80 year old is not admitting to any wrongdoing. Now, originally, uh, Gerard was uh, issued a citation for not wearing corrective lenses that were required while he was driving. Investigators later learned that he had had eye surgery just before the crash that cleared up his vision problems. And so that ticket was dismissed. Julie. Mike, thank you. Mike DeForest reporting live for us.